What's up, y'all? How y'all living, fam? It is, what you call it, Wednesday up in this biatch. And uh, yeah, y'all, I know y'all saw that little snippet in the beginning. Y'all, this morning, got up, had a shit ton of stuff to do, got a good shower in. And what you saw is really what I do when I shower. I am getting my straight jam on, you hear me? Straight jam. So I was listening to one of my favorite songs. Lately, I've been listening to I'm Happy and I just love it. I love that song. It's just one of those songs where you could just just dance to, kick it to, whatever, like on some like goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't know how long, how how, how loud I'm talking. I can barely hear myself because of these, right? And y'all know I have the the studio beats. But get this, I know they're red. The black color was what I had before. Turns out that when I got them, when I came back from LA, never dropped them, never had any problems with them. Came back from LA and plugged things into my computer using this little cord, and it wouldn't play on one of the sides. It wouldn't play on this side, actually, the right side, I believe. And so I was like, what's going on? You know what I mean? So I plugged it in other places. It seemed to have the same problem, so there was a little malfunction, which worked out in my favor because what ended up happening is I ended up um, exchanging them, and uh, they were damaged out, and it turns out they got some new colors in the studio beats because y'all know when I got them, it was like right when they had first come out, like it was only available like the Mac stores or whatever the fuck. And uh, they only came in black. Well, by the time I got back from LA, they'd come out with the red and a blue color, I think. And then they also have black. So when I got my uh, stuff exchanged, I was like, fuck it, give me a red pair. You know what I mean? So I'm so happy. Love the color. Y'all know my camera's red. And now my headsets are red. So y'all know I love pink. If they, they don't have pink in the studio beats. Um, but. Red works better because pink, I think, would show makeup more. You know what I mean? Because you see how it hits right here. Anyway, how y'all living, fam? Look, in the gym. As y'all can see, I didn't even address that. I'm in the gym trying to get my workout on. Uh, look, this morning, ran around, had to get a whole bunch of stuff. I'm so thrown off by this in my ear. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't hear. You know what? I might be yelling. Oh my God, I might have been talking really loud. Anyway, anyway. So, got up this morning. Had a shit ton of stuff to, to get done for the blog sale, kind of just getting things organized, getting them ready, so that when we're ready to go ahead and start packing and all that stuff, we've got kind of a system going, so we can go ahead and ship them out. We're not gonna ship out every single day, we're gonna just do a whole bulk shipment and then drop them off to get shipped. Then the next batch, drop them off to get shipped. So just so you guys know, you guys will see it more than likely on the vlog, but I at least wanted to let you guys know. So that's what I was doing this morning. Then I had to go run a couple errands, go to the post office, do that kind of thing just to verify and uh, do that kind of thing. And yeah, then came back. I gotta do some more cleanup in the house. Took out some meat to thaw so I can make dinner tonight. Turns out we're gonna be picking up my pookie poo today. So I decided to go ahead and get my little workout done a little early and uh, knock it out because I know I'm not gonna be able to come up in here and work out later. And I could work out on the elliptical, but I feel like I need to get my weight on, you know what I mean? Like I need to get the treadmill going, go ahead, and, you know, get my lift on and do it properly and not be on the elliptical unless I really can't get out and do anything. So I had a couple hours to spare. I thought I'd go ahead and come on in here, get it over with. And then I gotta go pick up my nephew. So I'll probably go home, shower, get dressed, go pick him up. And then we're gonna be hanging out with Pooh for a few hours. I think my sister is gonna be out with her boyfriend for a bit, I think. Either that or she's getting out of work late or both or whatever, either way. I get to spend time with my pookie poo. So, I don't know, I actually had checked here to see if they'd be willing to take him um, in the children's area or whatever so I could work out with Juice and we could maybe, you know, come out with him to the gym. And because we're not his biological parents, they won't allow us to do that. But it's really cool that they have that here. Like, they literally, you know, have it open from like eight to eight or eight or nine. Eight in the morning to eight or nine in the evening where you can take your child if you want to get your work on from age three months up to like 12. Crazy, right? So I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, see girls over on the treadmill. I'm gonna do probably back and biceps today. 
and I did legs yesterday with Jessica. Tomorrow I work out with Jessica again, so I'll probably do triceps and shoulders. And then Friday is going to be kind of rough because I have a couple of videos that I have to turn around. So I'm going to get those done on Friday. And then I'm going out with Jasmine on Friday. So I'll be back in the gym with Jessica on Saturday. But I told myself I was like, I'm going to get Monday through Thursday in and Saturday. So at least get five days this week. So far, so good. We're going to keep it going. Anyway, all right. I'm going to go ahead and actually do work on this treadmill instead of talking my ass off. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm yelling or I don't sound right or I distra I'm distracted. It's because of this shit. Alright, let me get up and work out. Okay. okay, I don't know if I'm in focus, but I'm coming to get my little nephew. Okay, what do I do? Oh, no, just kidding. Hi! Hey, how, are you how are you doing? Yeah, long time no see. Long time no see. <laughs> no. Baby Boo! <laughs> Look at my baby Boo! Hi, Pooh! How are you, my love? Hey, you, my poo. How are you, Pooh? He was so excited for you to come. I'm so excited. We're going to be spending a lot of time this week together. We're going to Sky Zone. Do you know that? Yeah. I'm going are you excited? Yay! Give me kisses. Give me the kisses. I love you. I love you. How are you? This is my new coat. That's your new coat? Let me see. It's cute. That's really cute. Oh, yeah. See, this is new. We're, you're gonna have to teach me how to do this, Pooh. Because I'm used to the other car seat. Uh, that's my car seat. Is that all you brought though today, bud? Do you have a backpack or anything on you, Benny? No. I don't think, I think you should just keep in with the seat. You look very handsome, honey. This isn't yours, right? Uh, look at, look no. at this haircut, y'all. Just this one, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. All right, let's go. Bear. This is so funny. I just want you guys to see that my baby Desi is petrified of this big ass balloon we don't got <laughs> well i got for juice for valentine's day and the thing is i'm gonna see if it works hold on let me see what happens watch watch him watch him watch him oh it sings Pooh. he's petrified of it honey he's barking a minute ago because it was singing to him he doesn't like that he's not liking this He's not a fan. Oh, my baby. I was wondering why he was hiding. Look at him. It's okay. <laughs> you don't like? Hold on. Look, I'm torturing. You don't like? You don't like it? You don't, oh, he doesn't like it, babe. He doesn't like it. You don't like it. You don't, you don't like it. I know this is so mean, y'all. Y'all gonna be like, babe. Oh, he doesn't like it, babe. Let me see how Gizmo. Gizmo's like, F this. Come on, come on, come on, Gizmo. You like that? He ain't feeling that, son. My poor Desi. Desi's scared of the balloon, too. He's happy, though. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's trying to get away, but see what happened was when Pooh was playing with the balloon, it got connected to the leash. I just want you to see my baby boy Desi's face. He's just. Uh, Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. What's the face of a scaredy cat? Okay, honey. It's just a new balloon. It's just a new balloon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See? <laughs> when you can. It's a new balloon, guys. Maybe I you have. You want to vlog? Hold on. Hold this for a second, too. You have to hold this. It's already recording. Hold this. Um, guys, it's just a uh, music video. Let me see. You got everything? All the boogies? Mm. All the boogies in your nose? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Juice. Right. Give me some loving. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Let me know what you want to do on Friday, okay, Pooh? Okay. You mean Sunday? Friday. Oh, Friday. All right. Yeah. Friday. All right, Caden. Down here getting my workout on, y'all. Sandy didn't mess around and went to the gym on me. She had to go pick up Caden earlier, so I thought I was going there today, but you know, down here in the basement, 
Not that bad. So I'm just down here doing this and watching Upset Tuesday. Oh. Oh. Syracuse, the number one team in the nation, right quick, is about to lose to Boston College. Now, Syracuse is undefeated, ranked number one at the moment. But it's overtime right now with 38 seconds left, and they are down by one. I'm sorry, two. They're down by two now. <sighs> Upset Tuesday, baby. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Today is Wednesday. Uh, Upset Wednesday. I think it is. Either way, I'm working out. I got something coming up here this summer that I'm trying to get ready for, which I'll tell y'all about as soon as I make up my mind if I'm really gonna do it or not. I've already committed to it, but there's still time to back out. I got about, what's this? Got about five, five or six months. No, actually uh, four or five months, you know, before it happens, but I'll let you know. And I'll let you know if I actually I'm going to go through with it. But I'm getting ready just in case. And this is this is where it all starts. Cardio, baby. But I'll keep you posted. Alright, so I got, in my, I got my 30 minutes in of cardio. And uh, check it out. The number one team in America, Syracuse. Just like I said, upset Wednesday. Just lost. Hey, hey, March Madness is coming up. It's around the corner. That means it's going to be fantastic. Think about having another March Madness uh, uh, tournament, you know. So, uh, yeah, hit me up down below if y'all are in, if you're out, if you want to do it, if you don't want to do it. Uh, I'm going to have it if we can get rid of all this shit in the basement. So, uh, I'm trying to knock it out in the next couple of weeks. Get some time for March Madness. It'll be after we get back from Texas. So if I can get it all squared away like I did last year, you know, hopefully this year's tournament will be a little bit bigger and better. And uh, I still, last year's winner. I forgot, I forgot the name, but let me, let, me, let me look it up. But last year's winner, I still owe you a prize from last year. So I'm definitely gonna get that to you. And uh, uh, let, me, let me figure this out, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do something over this year for March Madness. Uh, let me just get rid of this shit in the basement and let me figure this some shit out, all right? But the number one team in America down. The number two team in America, Florida, they almost lost. They cut it real close, but they they just pulled it off. So, so yeah, March Madness around the corner. My team, you know, KU is ranked number eight because the number one team in America, Syracuse, just lost tonight. They'll be ranked number seven now. It's KU that is. They'll be they'll move up a slot, and uh, we just keep this thing going. So yeah. Or, you know what, I'm tripping. Florida may go to number one, and Syracuse may go to number two. So, I uh, forget what I just said, and uh, let's keep it moving, all right? All right, y'all, back in the kitchen. I'm just about to eat some uh, some good-ass food with the wife, you know, cook tonight. She kind of threw down. I got to give it to her. She threw down tonight. I feel like it's always the same shit, because... I know, it might, it might be the same, but there's some uh, ground turkey with some... Um, some of that Hooters hot sauce in there, and the rest of the rice and broccoli. That's mine right here. He asked for it, guys. Hey, yeah, trust me, I asked for this shit because the shit is delicious. Yeah. And uh, she asked this. Damn, did you use the whole bottle or something? Of what? Oh, the, no, the, that was leftover. I used leftover. Okay. She, she used a leftover. Well, she used what was left of that Hooters wing sauce. So, you know, if you guys ever get a chance to try it out. It's that Hooters wing sauce. She put it in this ground turkey, which gives it more flavor. And uh, this shit is delicious, man, I'm telling you. So I'm about to eat on this and go hang out with the wife for a minute because she's a little bit tired today, y'all. She's been, she been working her butt off, so. I'm gonna do this and feed the little doggies and uh, uh, see what else comes up, all right? All right, y'all, please disregard my damn appearance. Um, I have been rocking the fuck out of this sweater the last couple days because I've been actually kind of cold But I don't want to put the heat all the way up because it's really not that cold outside But it just so happens to be because of the vaulted ceilings, you know how that goes. So um, Anyway, the heat is on. It's just not on like blasting if my lip gloss is like cray cray popping It's because I put some on just now 
okay oh a couple of you guys have been asking me what i've been wearing the last couple of days because it is different i'm not i, I i'm not, okay let me show you real quick before i forget um I, it's it's got a slight bit of ash to it that i'm not the biggest fan of but I still love it like it would be great if I had a full face of makeup on if that makes sense so if my face was like beat like where I had a good tinted moisturizer or a BB cream or a foundation on or something like that and I set it with powder or whatever the fuck it would be good okay but because it's got a little bit I'll show you Ashley look <laughs> I should have put this out already but because it doesn't have okay I'm gonna show you guys so you guys can actually see it because a couple of you guys these last couple of videos have noticed that I'm rocking something different in a couple of segments, I guess, you know, because I'll switch back and forth because it's whatever I grab in my purse. So anyway, I've been messing with these um, NYX, those NYX butter glosses, okay? Now you guys know I showed a bunch of those in my um, IMATS haul, right? Well, anyway, they gave me every damn color under the sun. So naturally, I'm going to go for the one that looks closest to, or at least the one that I could grab that was closest to, Miami Babe. So I'm going to show you Miami Babe. Miami Babe is, you guys already know, my favorite natural nude lip gloss on the damn planet perfect for our skin tone this skin tone okay but it's perfect for a lot of skin tones because it's got a pink undertone and look at the guys bam come on, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> anyway come on. so that's why i love this it's not just for you know just darker skinned women like me that. it's it goes with a lot of skin tones because it's not as ashy yeah. and it's got that pink undertone like that we normally have in our lip y'all know how i feel about ashy ass lips like that look of Y'all know, most everyone's nude is, you know what I mean, My, not our nude. Okay, so, NYX Butter Gloss, NYX, you guys know I always call it NYX, um, it's just a habit. I know this nigga did not let the dogs out. Babe, are you watching him? Yeah. Desi is black, and he is a nigga, and you can't see him out there. Huh? He's black, he can't see him in the dark. I'm done with this. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Right there. He putting a sweater on and everything, man. I, I can't. You watching him? You know, if a car goes by or someone walks down the street. Me, so. Okay, okay, okay. Go, go. Lord. Anyway, okay. Anyway, look, I keep getting distracted like I was when I had those headphones on. NYX Butter Gloss, and this is the first one I picked up to try on a continuous basis. This is called BLG14. This is Madeline, is the name of it. Madeline. And they look like this. Okay, hopefully it's not washing out like that. Okay, now the reason why I picked it out is because it's really close in color to NYX Miami Babe in the sense that it's in the neutral family. However, you can even see right here and it's not even really well lit. This is much pinker than this. And that's basically how it comes across on my lips um, is it comes off a little bit more um, cream, coffee au lait color than the pink that I like in my nudes I love my, my nudes to have a slight bit of rosiness, pinkness to them because that's kind of what my natural skin tone and lip tone is, if that makes sense. So anyway, the last couple of days you guys have seen me rock that one specifically off and on, the, the NYX um, Madeline, the last couple of um, days. It is a great lip, lip gloss, okay? It feels great. Um, it's not as thick as the NYX Miami Babe, um, but... Um, but it's not like sticky and thick like a, a MAC lip glass. Because the reason why I don't even fuck with lip glass for real for real is because it's so sticky and you, your hair gets stuck in it and all that kind of shit like hardcore. But these you don't have that problem with. Um, they last a pretty long time. The NYX Miami Babe lasts a little bit longer. But anyway, you guys have been asking specifically what it is. What, I'm have, what I have on my lips right now is NYX Miami Babe. Okay. And maybe some residue of the Madeline because I've been going back and forth all day. So if you saw me earlier and it looked a little ashier, it's the Madeline, which I just have in my purse chilling. So sometimes you might see I'm like, you'd be like, oh, wait a minute. Mm. It would look good with a beat face, if that makes sense. It doesn't to me look as good because of the ashiness to it um, with me not wearing any makeup, which is most of the time. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, a lot of you guys asked me that, so I want to make sure to ask, uh, answer. The other thing is I finally cracked open this wine. Lately, yes, your girl has been partaking in wine. I've had some long nights. Nothing bad, just working on random shit. And uh, anyway, that being said, it helps me kind of like whew, go to sleep. So I really don't do anything but just a glass. But every now and again, because we haven't had wine every day this week. But here's the new wine. Bam. Ready? That's the new wine. The wine that he showed you. It's already chilled. 
And I figured since Juice and I are going to just chill out and hang out together, we could have a little glass and see how it tastes. So this is the sequin, sequisha, sequisha pinot grigio. And it's delicately bubbled. Okay. 2012. <laughs> Vintage. Okay. So, poured myself a little glass. Actually, I poured it for juice. Okay. That is the most interesting tasting wine I've ever tasted ever in life. I don't know what to say about that. I feel like, I'm gonna let you taste it and have you guys see his reaction. What is, that? there's something that I feel like there's in it and I'm trying to put my finger on what it is that I'm tasting. What kind of, I knew it! Okay, I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm gonna see if Juice guesses and then I'll tell you guys what it is. But yeah, I knew I tasted something. It's different, a little bubbly, hold on. Now, normally I'm not a big fan of Pinot. Pinot is not sweet enough for me. This is pretty sweet. At least the Pinots I've tried have not really been that sweet. And you guys know I like sweet wines. I like, you know, Moscatos and, you know, sweet red wine, sweet white wine. Obviously it's white, so. Um, yeah, this is definitely different. It's not bad. It's de it's just, I'm used to Les Bourgeois, so naturally it's gonna take me a second, but it's, it's really not that bad. Mm. I guessed what it was. We'll see if juice does. But it's not bad. It must be chilled, for sure. Well, one, it's bubbly. But that bubble actually makes it taste pretty good. It's not bad. It really isn't. That's something I could see myself like if I'm just chilling. It's a hot summer. This, this would be a great summer spring wine when it's nice outside and you're sitting outside. This would be a great wine for that because it's bubbly. It's refreshing. It's so hard to explain. It's a different taste. And it might be because I'm very biased for those of you guys who are wine lovers out there who drink wine because i know there's people that drink wine every single day with their dinner or whatever and they have at least one glass and they try a different wine every time so this may be something that you know you guys may be used to it i'm just used to the wine that i always drink although a friend of ours who came out with a um uh wine uh line or whatever you know product is actually going to send us some wine at some point sometime in this next couple of months so hopefully we'll be able to try it out so that'd be kind of cool um so we'll let you guys know what that is and it's just because we want to try it and see what's up and show support to our friend um yeah anyway is that bad i'm gonna see what juice thinks when he, when he tastes it but it's definitely a good um that would be good to have with like the chocolate covered strawberries that i had the other day that would be good by the way new obsession chocolate covered strawberries love them i don't eat them enough at all i have valentine's day chocolate covered strawberries usually i'll have a couple and i'm done this particular year everybody like went ham on the chocolate covered strawberries like wherever i got my i got my chocolate chocolate covered strawberries by the way at schnooks and schnooks had a chocolate covered strawberry um station so you could actually have them handmade right in front of you it was awesome that's where i got mine juice got his someplace else but both had milk chocolate, white chocolate, and dark chocolate on them. And I've never had strawberries like that. Delicious. Oh, it was a good Delicious. Go. Hey, boo boos. Good to go. Oh, look at my look at your mama's Burped, boy. Burped him, fed mama's him, boy. And pooped him. They both pooped. Did you pick it up, uh, yeah. babe? Yeah, I gotta go. Uh, babe, here, take take the take, please. I'm getting, I'm getting no, I. I can't see it. I'm not playing with you. Uh, put them back in the kitchen. Gotta uh, mop this floor quick. Yeah. Put them back. You guys go back in the kitchen for a second. Hang out with mommy. Yeah, go hang out with mommy. Now hang out with daddy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fuck up the flow. Oh. Mm -hmm. I promise y'all. Then this nigga gonna have the nerve. Okay. What, a couple days ago, I walked in the door, I walked in the door from wherever the fuck I walked in from. This nigga gonna be like, oh my God, I went outside and I picked out like, like sick shits. 
I was like, nigga, those are your shits. Those are the shits you done let them dog shit outside that you didn't pick up. Tom Awesome, I can't believe I had to pick up six of them because he's just ran, they were just randomly everywhere. But I'm like, I don't ever, when I say not never, not never, not never leave shit outside, ever. Every time I put it in that, you know, well not in here, but typically in the trash can outside, in the little baggies. Hey, 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 what you smelling for? Don't look at me. These little motherfuckers, I'm telling you, they're, they're something else. We've been kind of trying to let them stay outside a little longer, you know what I mean? Um, you know, just walking around and roaming around, closing them up and certain, not closing them up, but you know, gating just the kitchen. I just want them to, I want them to get reprimanded enough where they eventually realize that what the fuck they're doing is wrong so they can stop doing it because that's basically what has to happen. So they almost have to keep having accidents and stuff to the, to a certain extent. And it's usually pee, it's not poo. I mean, they'd have to be like, it's been a while since we've had that kind of accident, but still. Except that one time in the crate, which was so random. Very, very random. But it was, oh, I think it was because he didn't go to the bathroom in the morning. <clears throat> They're so cute, though, but they drive me nuts. Anyway, hey, Juice! Are you going to come try this Pinot? Yeah. Well, bring your ass then! They are so cute, but... I don't know. You mangy motherfuckers. You know, oh, I gotta give him baths again. I'm just so sorry. Anyway, y'all, we're gonna wait till Juice comes up this motherfucker so he can try this shit. You guys are so cute. Don't let that shit fool you, though. Maybe on some other shit. They have their moments, though. When they're actually cute. Mm. See that little munchkin face right there? G. A nigga, he just. He's something else, let me tell you. He's something else. Okay, so if all pans out, oh, okay, you coming? If all pans out, we're gonna be hanging out with Pooh possibly on Sunday, which I'm really excited about. So I'll let you guys know as it gets closer. Hope everything works out, you know, you know, because he goes back and forth between um, mommy and daddy, you know what I mean? Different households. Lord knows, you know, if it's gonna be his weekend or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So. But I'm hoping it all pans out. We got to figure out what to do with him on Friday. Yes. Oh, we so definitely are having him on any, Friday. For sure. Friday night. If y'all got any suggestions on uh, what type of cartoons or good movies there are out there, uh, let us know down below because he's already seen the Lego movie. And uh, he don't want to see it again. <laughs> uh, oh, you already asked him? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, we could, well... And I was thinking we could just go to a movie. It'd be kind of cool to go we to. We got Netflix downstairs. But it's going to be so yeah. late, you know, because I still have to go to dinner that night, too. So it's going to be daddy daycare in this house for a second while I go to dinner because we're celebrating Jazz's thing, and it just so happens to be the same day that Manishka needs us to watch Caden. So Juice is going to take over Caden for a second while I go do that. Mm -hmm. I want you to try this real quick. Okay. Hold this. Uh, just, hands. just take the damn... Like, there you go. I got bleach on my hands. What's it gonna do? Bleach the camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Relax. Okay, I just want you to taste it. And see what your thoughts are. It looks good just by pouring it in the glass. Yes, sir. I won't give you a nice bottle. I mean, not, not, not bad. Not, not a bad bottle. Yup, yup. Yeah. Okay. See how it... Go ahead. There it goes. Oh, I'll show you. Duh. Show you. Having your little wine. You got lipstick on there. No, I told you I was going to give you the side that doesn't have lipstick on it. Nigga. I bet you wouldn't have a problem with that lipstick on your dick. Hmm. Okay, good. what do you think? It's pretty good. Damn, you got some soup coolers, man. It's pretty Shit. good. Damn. Can you mouth the glass? I wonder if you could put, damn, really? Is it that good to you, nigga? Damn, nigga. You got some big ass soup coolers, dog. You know I wouldn't even trip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I need you to guess the flavors. You have to guess the flavors that are in it. Go. Kiwis. The kiwi? Come on, think, drink. Some kind of green shit. Come on, babe. The, the bottle is green, so it's gotta be some kind of green shit. No, you have to do it by flavor. Go. It's got some green, uh. Like? Green apples. Damn, that was good. Oh, and, it's, and, and, right? and something else, and something else. Oh, shit. One more, one more. I need to go play the lottery. 
Hell yeah. We. We. You need to play the lottery. You, you'll be Wee. all right. You'll be all right. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we gonna be all right. Hey, hey, you'll be all right. <laughs> we. We. Sure we'll be all right. I'll make sure all your bills are paid. <laughs> Our bills. Yeah, yeah. Bills. Whatever. You didn't pick the other flavor. Green apples. Don't read. I didn't taste any cherry. You know, it's, it's, I've got to step in lighter color side because there's not anything dark in there. So I'm going with green apples. Wait a minute. Wait a Come minute. on. Okay. Okay. Something's coming up. Uh, what could it be? Uh, green apples, honeydew melon. No, but you're close. Kiwi. No. Uh, Come on. Pear. There you go. There you go. See, hey, he, hey. he 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 got them both. I mean, took them about hey, twenty tries, but hey, he got them. Hey. Let me go. Let me go. Not uh, bad. Not bad at all, babe. Let me go mop this floor. Yeah. Get to work, nigga. Y'all, man. Y'all. Keep me up late. Look at y'all. What y'all doing, man? Lord. I swear he loves doing that shit. See, here's the thing. The difference between him and I, y'all know. He would rather put the pads in the bathroom and let them do what they do. They do them on the pads, but still, sometimes because the room is so small, they leak on the exterior. So then he chooses to do this. Me, I'd rather just take him out. Deal with the cold. Pick up the poo and I should put it away. This is his method. I don't know why he wants to do that. Y'all know. I let him do what he does. Until this weather changes. Now, when this weather changes and it starts to get a little nicer out, ain't going to be no more of this bathroom shit. This is just temporary. Okay? Just because. I just, it's still acquired, an acquired taste, though, to me. He likes it, though. Anyway, Juice got it. It's pears, and it is green apple. With, hence, the green bottle. I didn't even think, you know, when I opened it up, that it was going to be that way until I tasted it. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. There's pear in here. Apple in here. Anyway, that's what it is. But, yeah, hold on. It is uh, a little sweet, but it's not overly sweet like some things. It's not a Moscato sweet for sure. It's close though. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Definitely not bad. And I like the bubbly effect. Definitely something you could have with some strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries. Good shit. Anyway, so yeah, y'all, we had a good, healthy um, meal, y'all know, wanted to make something different tonight. I actually asked if we, we could make tacos. And the other thing I was going to do, um, instead of doing the shells for the tacos, since it's during the week, was do like romaine lettuce for the, you know, I used to do that. The romaine lettuce, and then in, instead of using the taco shells, just use the shells of romaine lettuce and just put your meat in there with your salsa and, and all that stuff and eat it. And it's a whole lot less calories and, uh, and carbs definitely too. So... Um, I'll probably go get some romaine lettuce to do that at some point, probably this coming week. And then I do want to try a veggie lasagna. So if you guys have any suggestions on a really easy, um, not veggie lasagna, um, turkey lasagna. I don't like a lot of veggies. Um, not in my, not in my lasagna. So if you have a really good, healthy, um, like lean meat or turkey, um, lasagna, that would be awesome. That tastes really, really good. Send it to me. Send me a um, uh, comment down below. Maybe other people can try it too. So comment down below um, if you have something that you could share. If you don't mind, that'd be awesome. I'd love to try it because you just never know what's going to taste good when you see a shit ton of recipes out there. So comment down below. Let us know if you know of any good lasagnas. Would you wear, eat a healthy lasagna, babe? Yeah. I'll eat, yeah. I'll even eat an unhealthy lasagna. I know you would. That's shit. why we're going to stay that away from that good, shit. So I know. Healthy or unhealthy, let us know. That's why we're not going to do that. That's why I was like, I'm going to get ground turkey and just make a little, or lean meat, or whatever the fuck. It's time to go. So, yeah. Anyway, let us know down below. Who I be looking at high less? Who I be looking at high less mess? For real, for real, for real, for real, lately. Like, I just have. Uh, uh, uh. I be looking hot. Do I look like a hot ass mess? He's just tired. Tired. I am. He's just like, you've been working too hard. You need to go to bed. I'm like, I know. I'm just. That Ron knows not looking good. I'll let him know. We're just trying to get so much stuff done in a very short period of time. But let me tell you real quick, because this is, I know we've been doing a lot of shit and shooting the shit. Y'all know how we do. It's going to be like an hour long video, and it's going to be just all of us talking. But here's the deal. First time I'd ever taken, first of all, I apologize for the fact that I was so distracted with the headphones on. It really makes a difference when you cannot hear sound as well because you start to kind of it it muffles 
the sound from the outside, so it makes you want to talk louder naturally, and it also distracts you because you can hear yourself breathing in the earphones when it's turned off. So that was very distracting, hence why I, I you know, was talking all crazy when I had the headphones on earlier, but I didn't want to take them off because I'm always nervous about cracking the headphones because I've heard about that too. That being said, um, I absolutely loved working out at the gym with those studios on. I don't know how to explain it. I was just telling Juice, I was like, dude, if we ever get our hands on another type of headphone or if we can get another one of these, excuse me, not maybe the studios, but um, um, you know, another set, whatever it is, because I know he's probably not gonna want a studio set, you know, um, whatever, even the regular Dre's or some other monster, whatever the fuck, it's gonna be, it would be so worth it. It totally, I don't know how to explain it. I always use earbuds. I cannot go work out without music. That's one thing about me. I do everything with music everything so um i uh, it's just like it's the best thing ever because it completely cancels out sound which is what i was telling y'all earlier minus me telling y'all that because i couldn't think of the fucking way to say it but yeah it cancels sound so you're completely in the zone it's so hard to explain especially when you have some good ass music playing and i i did so i was just able to zone the fuck out i've had the craziest last couple of weeks and so I was able to just zone and it felt so fucking good. I will always go. And I really was like, why the fuck do all these people wear these big ass headphones to the gym? I totally understand. Totally understand. One, they don't move. So even when you're doing like things where you're laying down or moving a lot or whatever, they don't move, which is one thing I can't say about earbuds. And the one thing that drives me nuts about earbuds because they keep coming the fuck out. So, and that drives me nuts, especially when you're sweating. The other part is also, um, like I said, it zones you out. It's just you you don't hear all of the ambient sound so you're more focused on what you're listening to and what you're doing physically which is to, the workout so it's great highly recommend it if you can get your hands on some that cancel noise it doesn't have to be this particular set highly recommend it it's it's awesome i love it and i'm going to always work out with those things in the gym i don't know that i will do it any other way because i love it for using it for work here on the ipad on the ipod or ipod on the uh the macbook but i love it at the gym love it at the gym anyway so um, that was the thing I was going to tell you. There was one more thing. I'm just talking, y'all. Y'all know I love to talk to y'all. I just randomly shoot the shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Juice! Babe! I don't know where he is. Anyway, I'm going to let him say bye. Because I hate when we don't. That's the one thing I hate. I know that sounds so odd. Um, because, you know, it's me talking to a camera. But I abs absolutely hate when I don't say goodbye to you guys. I feel it's I feel weird about it. And that's why I always say I'm so sorry we ended the vlog so weird. Because to me it's weird to end the vlog without saying goodbye. So, hold on. I don't know why. I just feel like it doesn't sound right without us saying juice. Yeah. Babe, come out here so you can say good, good night. You come into the kitchen? Yeah, I get some of that wine, man. That shit's good. Hmm? I get some of that wine. That shit's good. Guys, I'm gonna let him do that shit. Huh? It's good. It's bubbly. That's why you like it, I think. You know what? It kind of reminds me of Martinelli's. Yeah. But with liquor. Ah, sweet spumante. Martini and Rasti, Asti spumante. You're a dork. Or whatever it is. Damn, look at how big your li your lips are just as big as the glass. I mean, don't we gotta put the dogs up, man? <laughs> <laughs> but they're my lips. <laughs> so cute. Mm, yeah. I love you. Okay. Ready? I was giving you a chance to say bye, babe. Hey, yeah, I'm going to put these, Did you uh, lose one of them? Oh. these dogs up and say goodbye because uh, I think they about to. No, they didn't do that. Mm -mm. That's your feet. But when they smell like that, it always worries me. Yeah. yeah. They get to sniffing around, y'all. I gotta put them up. Mm -hmm. They get sneaky at times. Ain't that right, fellas? So let me put the dogs up. I'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow. Hey, don't worry, y'all. We still working out. We still eating right. We getting back on it. Yeah, so, I'm proud of ourselves. We've been actually proud, on it. Proud, man. It's, it's, it's rough, you know, <sighs> going without as much sugar. I, yeah. I won't say I cut out sugar completely, but I did cut out about 95% of it. So. Shit, just the lemon cake alone. That's, Cutting that shit out will do it. The whole entire lemon cake. No, don't bring the lemon cake up, all right? <laughs> it's gonna be it. All right. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Yes, honey. Okay. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Say bye, y'all. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. That leash has been life-saving, guys. If it breaks or I have any problems, I will get another one. It's that good to have them on that leash. Say bye, y'all. Say bye. So much easier to control them. Say bye. Ooh. My husband needs Jesus. Anyway, we love y'all. And we will let y'all go. And we will see y'all. Manana. Right, Juice? Manana. Manana. Come on, y'all. Come on. <laughs> anyway, we love y'all. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night, day, whenever y'all are watching this. Love y'all. Bye.